Throughout the 2000s, when Rockstar were growing as a company, they wound up acquiring a lot of studios that they previously worked with and published games for. Tarantula Studios in the English town of Lincoln would become Rockstar Lincoln, who now act as the QA and localization arm of Rockstar. Mad Doc Software in Andover, Massachusetts worked on Bully Scholarship Edition and later became Rockstar New England, where they were tasked with developing Bully 2 until that got cancelled. Angel Studios in Carlsbad, California became Rockstar San Diego, where they most famously worked on Midnight Club and Red Dead Redemption, and at one point they were handling the development of Agent until that too got cancelled, and then it was brought back by Rockstar North before being cancelled again. Rockstar North themselves were even once a separate studio. They used to be DMA Design in the Scottish city of Dundee. Rockstar moved them to Edinburgh, but a lot of former staff stayed in Dundee, and some of them became original employees at a studio called Ruffian Games, which was first said to be working with Rockstar in 2019 on unspecified titles. Rockstar then acquired them and rebranded them as Rockstar Dundee. At first, it was believed that the studio was working on the definitive editions of the GTA trilogy. Kotaku had first reported this, but obviously whoever their source was turned out to be incorrect. And given how the trilogy turned out, it's probably a good thing that Dundee wasn't associated with that project. I think the assumption was made due to Dundee's previous experience in doing remasters. They were the main developers behind the Master Chief collection for Halo, which I haven't played myself, but I heard they were very good remasters, so I guess it made sense that we would see them working on remasters. The thing is, they weren't working on the trilogy, so what is it exactly that Rockstar have them doing, and why would they even acquire them? There are two things I think they could be doing. One is more likely than the other, which is more wishful thinking on my part as a fan of Rockstar. The more realistic of the two is that Rockstar Dundee are going to be a studio that works on GTA Online, one that maybe handles the development of future updates for both the current iteration of the game and the new version that'll come out with GTA 6. Tez on Twitter pointed out how the credits of GTA 5 have been updated. Among the 5,678 people who worked on the game, Dundee's co-studio director, Billy Thompson, was credited for that, as well as being the design director of the online modes. Other Dundee staff were also credited for roles in GTA Online's continuous development. That's not the only studio that would likely handle online updates, though. Tez mentioned to someone that GTA Online is a collaborative effort between all of their studios. They also assisted with the development of the 9th gen version of GTA 5. So while the studio is smaller than most of the others owned by Rockstar, it doesn't seem like they're actually doing what a lot of us had probably guessed at first, which is remasters of older Rockstar games. Remember, Rockstar's long-term plans were supposedly to include remasters, or at least new editions of older games. The GTA trilogy was to be the first step, but then they basically allowed these to be released in horrible shape, thanks to the third-party studio they tasked with their development, likely being rushed and having too much inexperience with game development. I'm sorry, I doubt anyone who worked on Grove Street Games is even watching this, but if you are, I won't call you stupid or anything. Game development is tough, and from what I've heard, it's the most difficult and soul-draining and least-paying of all career possibilities in software development. To me, the definitive editions of GTA feel like they were thrown together by people who probably just got their first jobs in the industry and had little to no experience. Now, that's not to say that miracles can't happen with an experienced team. I mean, GoldenEye was made by a team that had mostly never made a game before. But I think a lot of factors led to the PS2 GTA games being screwed up when they remastered them. Grove Street games don't appear to be working with Rockstar anymore, and the reception to these was so bad that it apparently killed the possibility of remasters of Red Dead Redemption and GTA 4. But lately, there's been some movement with Red Dead 1 that almost indicates that a remaster is actually happening after all. The game randomly received a new rating in South Korea, which is also what happened to the GTA trilogy before that was officially announced. They also upscaled the achievement icons on the social club. Maybe it wasn't cancelled, but just put on hold temporarily until they could get all their ducks in a row regarding how to move forward on remasters of games, especially ones that are on a more complex engine. If the PS2 games built on RenderWare 20 years ago were screwed up during the remaster process, I can't even imagine how the early titles built on Rage would turn out, especially with how GTA 4 is not exactly the most stable game, and Red Dead's source code was said to be a complete mess. There wasn't even a PC version of that game. I doubt remastering either of those games would be an easy process, especially not one for a third-party studio with a very small team. 
Given how Rockstar are notoriously very protective of what's theirs, it might be hard to picture them allowing an outside studio to work with their proprietary engine and development tools. I think part of why people thought Dundee could do this, though, is because of their history with remastering games. Maybe they'd be trained to work with Rage, and the resources could be shared more easily to a studio that they acquired specifically for remaster work. But then you have to remember, separate studios working on their own projects is a thing of Rockstar's past, not necessarily a thing that they're doing currently. Tez made another post on GTA forums specifying that Dundee is not likely to be the sole studio for remasters after all. Remember what I said before, it looks like they're handling a lot that has to do with GTA Online, and they're basically acting as a support studio. No matter how small of a studio they are compared to others like North and San Diego and Leeds, if Red Dead Redemption is going to be remastered, he said it's more than likely to be done by either a third party or a collective of Rockstar's studios, probably separate teams within multiple ones who are handling remasters of Rage titles. Whatever the case may be, though, while I think it would have been nice to see Rockstar have a studio that's dedicated towards remastering older projects, the likelihood of that does not seem to be that big. And given how Tez is quite a reliable source for information at Rockstar, I think I am more inclined to believe that Dundee are working on online, and if they are remastering Red Dead and maybe GTA 4, it's likely going to be handled by multiple different studios. Everyone sort of sharing the effort, basically. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think Dundee has any involvement in potential remasters in the future, or would you agree that they're just a support studio for online? And do you think a remaster of Red Dead Redemption is likely to happen? If so, what do you think they're going to do with the multiplayer mode? Because I will say this, it was a hell of a lot more fun than Red Dead Online ever was. Let me know your thoughts, and thank you for watching.